Well, here we are at the end of an absolutely gorgeous October weekend, and we are talking about the tropics. Unfortunately, no one wants to talk about this stuff. We're done with this, but unfortunately, we are still in hurricane season. We would like to be done with it, but here are two systems, one in the Gulf of Mexico and then one in the Caribbean Sea. And as I mentioned, this one, which is actually responsible for some of those high clouds that we got today, gamma, is not really going to affect us. It looks like it will move to the west over into the general kind of southwestern corner of the Gulf of Mexico and probably stay there at least for a while and maybe even weaken there. This is potential tropical cyclone 26, such a wordy title, but this is issued. Uh, this is what things are named when they're close to land and they may strengthen soon. So that allows these land areas that are in the path of what will probably soon become tropical storm Delta to get warnings and watches out and so forth and prepare for the storm, even though it hasn't formed yet. So again, potential tropical cyclone. Here's the definition. It allows for those watches and warnings and it has graphics that go along with it. So it's a little unusual for such a messy system because this again is nothing formed right now. It's an area of low pressure. Here are some thunderstorms forming on the southern end of this general low pressure area, but it's actually a big broad low pressure area right now south of Jamaica and it's not developed. It is not organized. It's not even a depression yet, but it probably will soon become a depression and then tropical storm Delta. So movement with this system, as I show you the National Hurricane Center's forecast is to the northwest. It will be drawn that way from high pressure, which is building out to the east, which I'll show you the steering currents in just a second. But it does look like it could enter the southern Gulf of Mexico as a tropical storm or maybe even category one hurricane late Tuesday night or Wednesday. Then we're expecting it to move into the central northern part of the Gulf of Mexico. Here is the point that looks really scary for New Orleans, but I just want to point out a few things. The error for a five day out location of a system is about 200 miles on either side. So there is a large area where this could go, although it's kind of centered at southeast Louisiana right now. This could shift a bit to the west or particularly to the east, perhaps like a couple of models are showing. It may strengthen as it gets into the central part of the Gulf, but there are cooler waters. Gulf temperatures just south of our coastline are in the 70s. They're not way into the 80s or 90 degrees. So the water temperatures are cooler here and it will have some shear to work with and it, we're expecting it to take that turn to the northeast, which I'll show you in just a second. Here is Tropical Storm Gamma. The center is just off the coast of Yucatan, but look at all the cloud cover spreading even over us. All the showers and cloud tops associated with it are sheared off to the north and to the northeast because we've had this front kind of part, this boundary between air masses over the Gulf. We're expecting this with a general weak high pressure area over the Gulf to move over to the west and probably hover again in this area through the end of the week and we will see how long it can last. But there is a lot of dry air, which I'll show you in later newscasts working into that system, which may weaken it. Here are the steering currents, the high pressure ridge directing this would be Delta off to the northwest. And then by the end of the week, we get a trough of low pressure moving in even with a little surface front making its way toward our area. So this should eventually and around the ridge of high pressure direct uh, Delta, what will be Delta by then likely off to the northeast. So just to give you an idea, the GFS model showing gamma moving off into the corner of the Gulf away from us by Thursday morning, it does have some rain beginning to spread in over our area and then it has the turn to the northeast with, as you saw there, some of the heaviest rain maybe staying just off to the east. So our seven day rain forecast all the way through Saturday right now, we'll say about one to three or so inches, but we'll have to watch it. A lot of uncertainty, as you saw, a big spread in where it could end up. And keep in mind, it hasn't even formed yet. So models tend to do a lot better, although they're doing, uh, they're outputting something right now, but they will likely get uh, more accurate as we get closer to the end of the week and probably by Tuesday when it should be a formed system entering the Gulf. Right now, potential impacts for our area would be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's mostly cloudy to partly cloudy, sunshine filtering through. 
Some of those high clouds this evening, temperatures are in the 70s and our lows tonight will be in the 50s and 60s. Tomorrow looks spectacular, beautiful weather, only low end rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and again into Saturday would be the main days for any impacts from eventually what will become Tropical Storm Delta. We will obviously keep a really close eye on everything, watch everything closely and get you many updates as we get into the next couple of days.